Hey guys, Technivers here. Uh, quick side note, happy birthday to me. <laughs> um, today we're going to be adjusting our flow rate. So in order to do that, we're going to need a simple model. This is a uh, 0.4 millimeter wall. You can get these by just typing in calibration on Thingiverse. Um, uh, we're going for the 0.4 millimeter because we're going to be measuring the difference. So you need to make sure in quality that our line width is also set to 0.4 millimeter. It's just going to put a single perimeter down and we're going to measure that it's extruding the right width. So I'm going to go ahead and print this. All right, so we have our perimeter wall here and it's supposed to be 0.4 millimeters. Let's check it here. And it looks like we are pretty spot on 0.4 millimeters. We are a little bit low. I don't have a digital pair of calipers on me, so I can't get the exact reading. If you have a digital pair, definitely use those because they'll give you a more accurate reading. So from here, we need to go back to the computer. Now, I don't need to make an adjustment to my flow rate because I have the right uh, size. It's, it's 0.4 millimeters, so it's accurate. But I'll show you how to adjust yours if yours doesn't come out right. All right, so what we need to do is some simple math, and we're basically going to use the same equation that we used for calculating our E-steps. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take the amount that we wanted to measure, which was 0.4, and we're going to divide it by the amount that we did get. I'm going to say in this case 0.38 because I know I'm not exactly on 0.4, uh, but you want to use your, second, your, your actual measurement for the second parameter and hit equals. Uh, and then basically you have this result here and what you're going to want to do is multiply that by what your flow rate already is. So times 100 and that puts me at 105.26. So I'm going to want to go in here and adjust my flow rate. Um, it is going to be in the material. And it looks like that's what we need to do. We're going to go ahead and slice it again reprint it and see if it comes out more accurate. Now since mine was pretty spot on, I'm not going to print it again, um, but feel free to do it a couple of times, double check, make sure that everything's working properly, and then uh, uh, you might adjust this up and down after doing it two or three times. Now the law of averages says that you're going to want to do this three times um, just to get uh, an average baseline or a median, uh, which would be a good point to work from moving forward. So that's pretty much it for calculating the flow rate, and we'll see you guys in the next video. And as always, guys, I am Technivorous. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the like button. You can subscribe right here by clicking on the icon. And I put a couple videos up in the corner. One of them is going to be my latest video, my latest upload. And the other one is going to be what YouTube recommends for you. So feel free to check those out. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications down below. And we'll see you guys next time.